Hey, I'm meteorologist Kenneth Webb. Today we started off a cold, chilly day. Snowfall into some of the higher elevations here on the Tennessee, North Carolina border. 16 degrees above our norm this time of year. Hey, I'm meteorologist Kenneth Webb. We turned out to have a beautiful day out today. It does mean fire danger is a possibility. Causing that moisture just to ring out over some of the higher elevations. Arctic cold blast that's going to be hovered right here into the southeast. This backside is where we're going to be having a lot of cold air. We do have a caution sign here by daybreak. We're going to be in the 30s. With gusts up to 119 miles an hour. Hey, I'm meteorologist Kenneth Webb. Today we had a beautiful day. We started off very chilly though with temperatures into the upper 20s for most of the region. But right now though, let's take a look at our current radar. We've got clear skies overhead with temperatures can't complain with middle of March right now at 58 degrees here in Asheville, 57 in Brevard. Greenville is even into the mid 60s tonight. So that's beautiful right now, but we do have those high clouds starting to roll in into the Western North Carolina mountains here at Mountain Hizzle at 4,700 feet in elevation. You start to see those high clouds start rolling into the area, but look at this. 52 degrees at 7:30 in the evening. We haven't seen that in quite some time. Wind winds are south at three miles an hour, so it's keeping it keeping it warm with those southerly winds. Speaking of those southerly winds, most of our winds are coming from the south here in Greer and even into Asheville. We're looking at 12 mile an hour sustained winds right now. But as far as our evening planner is concerned, take a look at this: 53 degrees by 8 p.m. and dropping below 50 by midnight. Hey, I'm meteorologist Kenneth Webb. Today we had some rainfall that came through the area. It is starting to dissipate though as this front starts slowly coming towards the east. It's hitting Andrews right now a little bit here in Franklin and even into Haywood County. They are getting some rainfall right now as we speak, but that will be diminishing as this front moves on into the east which will bring us some clear skies by tomorrow morning by daybreak. So what are we looking at as far as our temperatures right now here in Asheville? Is that 68 degrees right now? Here, let's take a look at UNCA campuses sky cam. Set there at 71 degrees right now with winds north northwest at three miles an hour. As you can see, though, they are starting to get even cloudier as the night progresses. So one thing, though, winds. Let's talk about those. As you can see, there's that edge of that front right now coming through the area. As you start to see, those clouds will start to dissipate overnight into tomorrow morning, and then we start to pick up those winds coming from the north, which is a good thing, but it'll bring us some cooler temperatures, and it'll also dry us out tomorrow as we get on through the day, and then they start to pick up. Those clouds will start to come back in by Saturday afternoon into Sunday, and then those winds will start picking up from a different direction, which will bring us those chances of some rainfall. Now, how much rainfall could we expect with this next system? And it will be a lot. As you see by Monday, four inches of rainfall is expected with this model come to Atlanta by Monday afternoon, almost three and a half. So all of I-85 corridor from Atlanta up to Greenville will get a good douse of rainfall as this system approaches us here in the next couple days. So tonight temperatures though, we do expect them to be on the cold side at 44 degrees tonight here in Asheville, 45 in Hendersonville, but into the low 50s into the upstate. As far as our high temperatures are concerned for tomorrow, this is going to be a beautiful one. Breezy though, with 64 degrees here in Asheville, 61 in Burnsville, 69 big in Morganton, Four City 71 and into the upstate there into the low 70s. But one thing is though, it will be sunny for much of the area. So here is your seven day forecast. Saturday, look at that, 64 degrees, gusty and cooler though. Sunday though is when that chances of rain starts picking up. And Monday, 100% chance of some rainfall. So be careful when you're out there, those roads will be slick. It's a nor'easter. We've heard that term before. What makes this so different? This one's different because it is a meteorological bomb. Meteorological bomb by definition means a storm system drops 24 millibars within a 24 hour period. This one, however, has almost doubled that to 43 millibars within that 24 hour period and is now at 955 millibars with winds sustained at 105 miles an hour with gusts up to 119 miles an hour. This is equivalent to a category two hurricane. The difference is in this case, this is a winter storm. So this means big trouble for New England and also into Canada.